Hello, welcome to Keystone Powerhouse Ministries. I'm Pastor Mike. We invite you to join with us in, uh, in word momentarily. But first, let's open up in a word of prayer. Amen. Heavenly Father, we just thank, thank you, you, Lord, for your goodness, Lord, and for your mercy. God, I just thank you, Lord, that, that you love <laughs> us and that you show us your love, Lord, yes, every God, day. Mercy, Lord, yes. everything that you've done Lord, for us, every good and perfect gift that comes from you, God, we yes. just thank you, Lord. You're so gracious to us, Lord. You're so merciful. Hallelujah. You love us. And Lord, you you even enjoy when we have fun, Lord. And we thank just you, thank Jesus. you, God, that you watch over us, that you're a loving, caring Father, God, like none other. And Lord, we just invite you into this place today. Yes, God. Lord, to Lord have your Jesus. will and your way. Let your spirit Hallelujah. move, Lord, and do what you want to do yes. in today's service, God. And I just thank you. And Lord, if there's one that doesn't know you, I pray that they would know you before the end of this service, Lord. And God, just pour out your blessings upon your people and let us be a blessing to you, Lord. We just give you praise and glory in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Before service, we were talking and laughing. and uh, <clears throat> God, God loves it when his children come together in unity and in peace and in harmony and when we fellowship and have a good time together so we're just going to do that today amen there's um the spirit is here i can i can tell you that and he's told me he's going to do something special today so i'm just believing god um and his word that um, he's going to do something great in our midst today amen amen hallelujah does anybody have a testimony they'd like to share before we open up? Thank you. Thank you. Anything you're grateful for, thankful for? Praise God. Oh. Yeah. Yes. I am thankful for my family. I'm thankful for you all and the mm. chance that, you know, I have come to be with my aunt and my yes. uncle to bring me. Mm -hmm. to this place of yeah. worship and yeah. thank you jesus it has just filled my heart praise yeah. god praise yeah. god we love you and we appreciate you and we're glad thank that you you're jesus. with us too amen thank you. hallelujah amen <clears throat> god is so good god is so good let's just sing that real quick god is good or how's that how's god that song is, go god is so good. yeah that one Let's just, I, we haven't sang for, for a minute, so let's just, what is that, D? God is so
last week we were talking about a river and how it flows and uh, the river flowing into uh, it was in Ezekiel, wasn't it? That flows into the the uh, Dead sea. the Dead Sea. That's right. And um, what was that, Brother Brian, that you brought out? Um, the The Dead Sea was where the living went to die. But we're seeing a reverse, right? Or I they can't, found life in the Dead Sea. They found life in the yeah. Dead Sea, and we've seen it's that starting in, to come back. Amen. We've seen that in scripture where uh, Ezekiel had uh, prophesied and it uh, seemed like there was another passage um, that was relating to that too. But um, we're seeing that happen. We're seeing that happen in, in our midst today. We're seeing that happen in the world today. Amen. And, and uh, like Brother Brian had said, they're, they're finding these um, things living now in the Dead Sea, and we're seeing that river that flows into that, and we're seeing this spiritual river now. We're seeing what God is doing in His people and in this earth today. We're seeing that river that flows, and it's a life giving flow. Amen. It's life giving, and it's you flow through that river. Amen. Even going into the Dead Sea, and it will still bring forth life in the yes, Dead yes, Sea, yes, yes. so yeah, your yeah, circumstances yeah. that you're going I through right now can be reversed, just yeah. like Ezekiel prophesied there. He prophesied to, uh, when the Spirit told him to prophesy in the Valley of, of Dry Bones, and he prophesied and he breathed life upon them, and they came back to life, didn't they? Amen. And they started raising up the the bones would raise up and they came back together and the sign the uh, their joints came together and their skin started covering over the bones and it became a mighty army amen and that's what um that's what ezekiel saw in that valley of dry bones amen and we're seeing that today hallelujah i just just thank god hallelujah amen. thank him for that thank river you, Jesus. Hallelujah, that river, that life-giving flow. Oh, thank you, Jesus. We talked about the river. We talked about the trees that line the banks. We talked about the, the marsh and the, the swamps, uh, the wetlands on the outskirts that um, their religiosity is weighing them down so much that they can't move, that they can't get into that life-giving flow, that river, because... They think they've always done it this way. Grandma and Grandpa has always done it this way. And this, you know, I've always been such and such denomination, and that's what I'll always be. And because, you know, Grandma and Grandpa were uh, Catholic, or they were Baptist, or they were Pentecostal, or whatever, then that just makes me that way. Well, I'm here to tell you, it doesn't. You have to have your own personal relationship with the Creator. Amen. You've got to accept Jesus Christ for your Lord and your Savior. Amen. Just because mama and daddy or grandma and grandpa did doesn't mean that you did. You have to do this yourself. Amen. Amen. And John, we talked about uh, also going in um, in the vision, going ankle deep and, and going knee deep and waist deep and eventually get into the flow that's, that's over, over your head in that river, in that life-giving river. Amen. And we've got to get ourselves into that. Hallelujah. Get out of the quicksand. Get out of the quicksand. Amen. Amen. He brought me out of the miry clay. Amen. And set my feet on the rock to stay. And that's where we got to be. Amen. Hallelujah. Well, praise God. That wasn't where I was thinking we were going today. But I just, I feel just we need to reiterate that. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Brother Brian, did you have something? No, I was just looking for something. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. We watched the, uh, after the whole church service before we came here today, um, Stephen Furtick um, mm. Elevation yeah, Church. Yeah. We never watch it. We did during COVID a little bit. But, mm. uh, today it just came up first in the feed. So sure. Let's just watch this one today. Yeah. Um, and he mentioned he started with a baptism service, and but he and his message started talking about the 
vitamin C and the marshlands and really mm -hmm. wow. everything we talked about last week. Isn't that something? Be yeah. worth going back and checking out at least really the, that part of it. Wow. Yeah, that's that's awesome. That's what God's focusing on right now. Yeah, I I believe that. And yeah. Turkey was mentioned in the news this week too, just like we said. I think it was you that said it. Turkey was, was mentioned. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Amen. God's confirming His word. Amen. He'll listen. He's not going to do anything in this world without revealing it through His prophet first. Amen. That's what He does. That's, that's his M.O. That's what he does. His word declares that. And um, he doesn't have to be secret. And he doesn't have to be secretive and, and go around, you know, trying to be undercover. God doesn't have to do that. God just tells you what he's going to do and he does it. No matter how much we try to withstand. And I say we, not, not necessarily we, but when people or... Uh, even evil forces try to withstand the move of God, he still accomplishes his move, and he still accomplishes exactly what he said he's going to do. Amen. He's not scared. He's not scared of the enemy. He's not scared and saying, well, we can't... Uh, let me put it this way. There's some Christians that say, well, I don't want to make that confession, you know, too loud because the devil might hear me. I mean, listen to that. They say, you know, the devil might hear me and then he'll really be, you know, be attacking me and, and he'll really come after me. But God's not scared of that. God's not afraid and he doesn't want us to be afraid. In fact, he said that we are victorious and that we are to live a life of faith and that we walk by faith and not by sight and that we declare things by faith and we do things like he did things just way back in the, in the beginning in Genesis where we see where God said and it was. And he wants us, because he created us in his image, he wants us to do the same thing and start declaring by faith the things that we desire, the things that we're picturing. He wants us to declare them and not hide them and not be secretive and not try to be scared of the enemy saying, well, if I say it too loud, then the enemy is just really going to attack me. But the fact of the matter is, greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. And you have more power than the enemy does. Why? Because God lives within you. Amen. And he wants us to start declaring his word in this earth to perform his will in this earth in these days, in these last days, before his return. He wants faith to be in the earth before he comes back. Amen. And he said he's not coming back until his enemies are made his footstool. Come on. Now, and how do you do that? You start declaring by faith what God said, and you start releasing those words because God listens, and the angels listen for the voice of God's word to be uh, pronounced out of someone's mouth. They're just waiting and listening for those words, for the word of God to be pronounced out of our mouths so that they can go out because they know they have an assignment, but they're waiting for the for the uh, for the go ahead to be given from us to go out and do what God said to do. Well, believe it or not, I believe it. Huh? Amen. Absolutely. They're just waiting and listening. The angels are all around us. The angels. The heavenly hosts are around us waiting and listening for us to give voice to the word of God. Hallelujah. I don't know if anybody else senses this right now or not. Ooh, hallelujah. There's a heavenly Oh, right now. Oh, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. 
here. You know, I was directed yesterday to the book of Galatians. And Paul wrote to the church, to the Galatian church, and he told them, he said, he even called them foolish Galatians. Who tricked you? Who deceived you? Who snuck in and was teaching you things to, to get you off course? And he said, if, if there's any, any person, if any man or woman or even angel preaches another gospel besides that which you've received, let them be accursed. Why? Because Jesus Christ is the foundation, the gospel upon which we build. And he said, if anybody else preaches another gospel, let them be accursed. And you think, well, what other gospel is there? And churches are preaching all different kinds of gospels now. And a lot of them aren't the gospel of Jesus Christ. And we've got to get back to the word. We've got to get back into what we know. You know, Paul was, Paul received this gospel not by going to school for it, although he did go to school and was very highly educated in religion. But that wasn't where he got the gospel. He said he got the revelation of Jesus Christ. And how did he do that? Because God gave it to him. He only spent a couple weeks with the actual apostles. And that wasn't for a few years until after he had converted to Christianity. So he received a revelation of Jesus Christ. And what I'm trying to tell you now is you, this isn't something that you can necessarily be just taught and just know. But you've got to get a revelation of the master. You've got to get a revelation of Jesus Christ yourself. And he wants to reveal himself to each and every person in this world. But it's up to us believers to put forth the word of God and not water it down and not speak in fear, not speak in doubt, but speak in faith and preach the word. Preach the word and be instant in season. To be ready to give an answer for anything when people ask you for about the hope that's within you. To be able to give them that answer. And to be able to give them the revelation that you've received from the word. I don't know if this is making sense to anybody, but I just feel this in my spirit coming forth. Glory to God. We've got to start preaching the word We've got to start declaring the word. We've got to start living the word in front of our peers, in front of our family. And let them receive the revelation of Jesus Christ. Because he is the way, the truth, and the life. And no man comes to the Father but by him. We've got to pronounce the word of God every day. And give those angels, which are the harvesters, and they're the reapers. They're the ones that go out, and they reap the souls. They go out, and they, they reap. And whatever we sow, God said let uh, that God is not mocked. That whatever a man sows, he's going to reap. And we need to start sowing the word of God. And we need to start declaring that in this earth. Because I'll tell you what, if there's one good thing about the devil, he ain't lazy. He ain't lazy, and he's doing what he's wanting to do. And Christians, it's time that we start becoming braver and not being afraid of the enemy and start declaring what God said and start taking our stand. Because guess what? The church has dropped the ball. I'm telling you, the church has dropped the ball in so many ways over these past several years that the enemy just comes in and just does what he wants to do. But you know what? There's still a few. 
there's still a few that will stand up for the word of God. And there's still that few that withstands the enemy so that what he wants to do, he can't do. Why? Because he who now lets will let will keep him subsided until we're taken out of the way. Amen? And that's the word of God. We have got to start declaring the word of God even more and more until his return. Amen? And let's see this harvest of souls come about. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Did one of you have something? Do you have something? Well, somebody, somebody's got something to say or read or something. Give ear, O heavens, and let me speak, and let the earth hear the words of my mouth. Let my teaching drop as the rain, my speech distill as the dew. As the droplets on the fresh grass, as the showers on the earth. For I proclaim the name of the Lord, ascribe greatness to our God, the rock. The work is perfect, for all his ways are just. A God of faithfulness and without injustice. Righteousness and upright is he. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Where is that found at? Deuteronomy 32, 1 through 4. Deuteronomy 32, 1 through 4. The song of Moses. That's the part where he's talking about use your voice. Mm. Let my teachings be proclaimed. Wow. And what are the teachings that we're supposed to proclaim? I proclaim the name of the Lord. Yes. I ascribe greatness to our God. Yes. The rock, his work is perfect, for all his ways are just. Yes. A God of faithfulness and without injustice. Hallelujah. Righteous and upright is he. Those Lord. are the words of the Lord. Yes. And we ascribe those. Yes. We speak those. We, speak we release those. those. Those are the words that we release into the atmosphere. Hallelujah. That's the work. <coughs> That's the seeds. Yes. That's the things that the Lord is wanting to bring into the earth, Hallelujah. into people's life. Yes. Is his justice, his righteousness. Hallelujah. He's the rock that we are to stand on. That's right. He alone is God, and there is no other. Hallelujah. Praise God. His word. It confirms his word. Mm. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Praise the name of God. Praise the name of God. Hallelujah. Yeah. <laughs> That's basically what we just said, wasn't it? It's amazing. Hallelujah. Mm. And folks, I apologize. I I just want to take I don't want to hurry up a service and hurry up what God wants to do and I don't just have things written down as far as an instruction on this is step one step two step three I want to wait on him because there's some special things he's going to do today hallelujah he is doing today Roger, did you have anything to add or say at this time? Not yet? Okay. But I know the Lord's working with you. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank 
through Jesus. song coming to mind that I'd like to sing. I'm not sure what key, but they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. Spirit, what you have for us today is to speak what you have spoken. To think how you want us to think. To be how you want us to be. Lord, you know best. Yes. You know best. wait upon him. Hallelujah. Thank you, Daddy. Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. You know best. Yes. Yes.
Kuriasi Yandu Yasi Iko Yan Yasi Kuri Yasi you not known my word when I said before I formed you in the womb I knew you yay I know you <laughs> and you know me and I want you to take my message to this world to declare what I have said in my word and you will see sinners come to repentance and come and give their lives to me by the words that you declare from my word. Yes. For my word will not return void. My word is powerful. My word is full of life. The enemy knows this and can do nothing about it. Sinners know that my word has life also. And they will kneel at the <laughs> knee and declare the King of kings and the Lord of lords when you declare my word. So go forth, my beloved. Go forth and declare what I have said. And you have great reward. For obedience. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, Father. Praise God. Hallelujah. I seen a four uh, um, dots, like what you would see on a on a di on a dice dice die. Four, and then off to the side, I saw a one one dot four, and a one. And I I don't know what that is, but that kept popping up to me. A four. And the one. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you. Mm. And there's a waterfall. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
is the waterfall. Over a great um, cliff, a waterfall. Uh, in, uh, splashes below. There's a lake, pond, lake. South America, South America, yes. Father, I lift up this place in South America, Lord. Venezuela, is Venezuela? Venezuela in South America? I mean, the South American continent. Oh, okay. I think Venezuela will be art with this missiles. Lord, I don't know what's going on in this region, but Lord. You do. So, Father, I pray that you would send your angels right now. Angels, we dispatch you to go forth. Whatever the need is, whatever the battle is, be victorious over the works of the enemy yes, Lord. and do what God wants done. Yes, Lord. Yes. Go forth now and conquer. And bring to naught any plan or any attack of the enemy. Mm. Hallelujah. Mm. Yes, Lord. There's smoke. There's smoke. This is. Mm. There has been mm. in the government. They have consulted with warlocks. And warlocks have dispatched demons to destroy the people, to destroy the land, to torture and torment. To try to possess, to kill, and still and destroy. For selfish government reasons. For land and resources. The land, the Lord says to take authority yes. to take authority over the demons that are charging this land mm. to take authority over the warlocks that have been consulted yes, sir. 
and over the government officials who have agreed and who are in on this, the Lord said to take charge now. Yes, God. We do. Right now. Your word. We God take charge. Oh. We take charge over the enemy. Yes, Lord. We cast down all the evil forces. Satan, we bind you. All evil spirits. Evil. Anything that any witch or warlock has declared, we take authority over that right now, for that is the heritage of the saints of God. It is our right, and we declare right now we have authority over the works of the enemy, that there shall be no destruction in this land. There shall be no plan of the enemy that will be successful, but it shall fall right now in Jesus' name. For we have authority given to us by the Father God to go forth and declare his wondrous works and his mighty power. And we declare it right now. Yes. Yes. Angels are dispatched right now going forth and conquering the enemy. That the enemy's plans are brought to naught. Yes. This land shall thrive Thank and you. shall live. Jesus Be a good Bible, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Oh. Hallelujah. For we will hear word of this soon. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. 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 This is why you came to the earth, Lord. Not to condemn, but praise God, God, but save praise God. God. Hallelujah. Deliver and set free. Yes. Oh, and the strong man that's had a stronghold in that area is loosening the grip right now when we come against the evil and the wickedness in that place. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Pour out your spirit, God. Yes. For where yes. sin yes. abounded, grace yes. did yes. much yes. more yes. abound. Pour out your spirit. Hallelujah. 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 The Jesus. love of God is in this place. Yes. The love of God is in that place. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The love Hallelujah. conquers all. Praise. Hallelujah. Praise God. Yes, Lord. Nations and countries, Lord, that you are showing me. Oh, God. Norway. We go into Norway. Yes. Declare your works, your laborers. Bringing the harvest oh, in Norway. Hallelujah. 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 Virginia. The state of Virginia. Lord, what's. Lord, I pray over that state, Lord, right now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes. Mongolia. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Yes, God. Yes. Estonia. Yes, God, do a work. Show yourself mighty there. Lord, make yourself real to those people, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes. Yes. Ooh, hallelujah. Lord, you are mighty. You are mighty. 
in your eyes search this earth to those who worship you, to those who will declare your word. Lord, we worship you in spirit and in truth, and thy word is truth, Lord. Hallelujah, we worship you in your word. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. May we rehearse your word in your ears to you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I say there's still. Oh, thank you for blessing us. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Save the ones that's causing the trouble. Save them. Oh, Lord, according to his wishes. Oh, in Christ's name. Hallelujah. Turn, Lord. Hallelujah. Turn from this. Hallelujah. For you are with us. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you. Comfort us, Lord. Hallelujah. Praise Jesus. Yes. Praise God. Yes, the drugs. Hallelujah. The drugs. Yes, as they're marching off to battle, Lord, the drums. Lord, let the drums echo in the ears of the enemy, Lord, and be a reckoning, God, to the enemy. Hallelujah, for when the righteous uh, declare and play the drums, God, that they're to be echoing that, Lord. Ha-ha, they will bring the enemy. The falter void is in the word. Yes, yes, Lord. Jesus said. Yes, I hear them. Yes, born again. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Ah. We come against you, devil. Every yes. thing that you use against the people God. that have Praise God. fell. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Lord, be magnified, glorified. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, thank you, Father God. Thank you. In Jesus, Jesus. Praise, praise. Hallelujah. Uh, <laughs> yes? Okay. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, declare victory. Yes, Jesus. Victory. Yes. Victory. Victory. Victory in Jesus. Hallelujah. Victory. 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 Yes, Jesus. Praise God. Ah, hallelujah. 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 Victory. Victory, Lord. Victory. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.
have the victory. Yes. Yes. We have the victory. We have the victory through him who loves us. Yes, amen. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Praise your name, Jesus. Praise your name, Jesus. Lord, Master, Savior. Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Our prayers Father, have been you, heard. And our prayers have been answered. Praise Hallelujah. You, what is that, Lord? Thank you, Lord. Nymph that is trying to constantly attack Hallelujah. my mom and my dad. Nymph that is trying to trip her and to harm her. Yes. I command you to go. Yes. And you cannot return. Go. Yes. You will not trip her or harm her anymore. No more. You foul and evil spirits. I command you to take authority in the name of Jesus. Yes. For my mom and dad are protected by the blood of Jesus Christ. Yes. You cannot touch them anymore. You have to leave their house in the name of Jesus and to leave them personally right now. Yes. No more attacks from the enemy. No more. Thank you. From this day forward, of any kind, yes. I shut your mouth, enemy, and I shut your attacks. Yes. In the name of Jesus. Yes, Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise Father, just Jesus. send your angels upon him right now, Lord, and cover them. Father, renew their bodies from the inside out. Their strength, Father. Yes, Their physical bodies, in the name of Jesus, be healed from the inside out. Renew them, Father, spiritually. Hallelujah. Renew them financially. Ooh. Father, renew their spirits, their bodies, and their hearts and their minds in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. For yes. I have a work for you to do, saith the Lord. Mm. Listen to me today, saith the Lord. I have placed an anointing on you, and today it shall be fulfilled. For it is an anointing to, ra to raise you from the oldness and bring you to the new. Because I am not done with you, saith the Lord. For you have many words to say for me. You are my voice. You have many works still to do for me, saith the Lord. For today I place that mantle and that, that authority over you, a new authority, a new regeneration. Do not take on the mind of the naysayer, take on my mind. For my mind is regeneration and new and life. Do not listen to anyone that is trying to naysay to you anymore. Rebuke their words as soon as it comes out. Yeah. 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 Um, Even if they are standing in front of you, saith the Lord, you speak to them immediately and rebuke their words. And you tell them what my word says. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lamb of God. Thank you, Jesus. What's it called, Lord? Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 
Thank you, Lord. For I've given you an anointing that has been resurrected to show the world that my anointing is used for everyone of all ages, yes. all generations. For this anointing that I have placed upon you today will spread. The more that you speak, the more that it will go forth, saith the Lord. As the world wants to see my older generation just to pass. Mm -hmm. But no, the words that you speak from your mm -hmm. mouth, which will be life, will bring that back to life. Hallelujah. For my anointing I placed on you will rejuvenate those that think that they have gone past and that I do not need them. But for you, when you speak my word, it will be resurrected. <coughs> Glory to God. Mm. Glory to God. I bring life and newness mm. to you yes. to speak. I bring long life, saith the Lord. Oh, thank you, Lord. Yes, long life. For I bring life back. Yes. From when? Back in Moses' times. And I bring life back from Noah's time where you just don't live 80 years and die. For I bring back long, satisfied life, saith the Lord. Yes. A hundred, two hundred years, saith the Lord. Mm. I bring that back to this earth, saith the Lord. And beyond. And you are my example, saith the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. I regenerate your bodies today, saith the Lord. Physically. I heal you, saith the Lord. And no more of those thoughts that I am old and I cannot. For you are no longer old. You are young and you are vibrant and you are full of life, saith the Lord. And I give you the strength and I give you power and I give you might, saith the Lord. For today is a new day. Thank you, Jesus. I speak my life and my love upon you today. Accept my healing in your bodies today from the inside out, saith the Lord. For you will see You will see my coming First, there 
many works to be done. So go forth in my field and work. Work for the harvest. Work for my harvest, saith the Lord. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. The Lord says 250, but I don't know what the 250 means. And he said to speak 250. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Praise God. Praise God. Yeah, yeah okay. Amen, amen, amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Hallelujah. So I say don't despise the limp. For yeah, I put your hip out of socket. For there has been a work. There has been a name change. There has been an anointing change and a mantle change. For Jacob went from Jacob the supplanter to Israel. Yes. My nation to bless all. Yes. To bless all the nations. To bless all the world. And that was a time of wrestling. But it was a time of great expectation. It was a time of great vision. It was a time of great awakening and understanding to the realm between heaven and earth. For he saw my angels descending and ascending. He saw gifts coming down and works going up. He saw the things, and the things that I have anointed you today, for the works of your hands are not done. I say the works of your hands are not done. As you stretch forth your hands in prayer, as you stretch forth your hands when you decree and declare my word, the, the power, the glory, the anointing that will go forth from your hands, saith the Lord, will be great in the earth. You are affecting and changing things that you do not know. For no, you are not done. You are not done. This day and time is marking you today. You have been marked. You have been marked and set apart for me in a new way, in a new position, for a new story, a new song. Hallelujah. For a new sound <laughs> came out of you today. For I heard a sound when you gave your message in tongues. I heard a sound of the Lord today. I heard a sound of war. I heard a sound of victory. Yeah. I heard a sound of chains dropping off those that are yeah. captive and bound. I heard a sound of liberty. I heard the sound of victory. And it has been mantled on you. It has been put on you. For your legs shall also be strengthened, saith the Lord. For you will walk with me. Yes. You will walk with me in an anointing and in a way that you didn't dream possible. You will walk by the streams and you will enjoy my times of refreshing. The blissful oasis that I will bring you to at times when you feel like you've been in the desert, look up. And I will lead you and draw you to my oasis of life, my springs of living water. Yeah. For I strengthen your legs this day. I strengthen your legs this day. I have anointed your hands for work and your mouth for praise and victory and yes. declaration. For you. <laughs> joy of the Lord shall be your strength. Hallelujah. <laughs> oh, mindset shift for they are not done. Words. <laughs> Words spoken over them that have been wrong, that have been curses, that have been a fear of doubt. 
I say no in Jesus' name, no harvest to come forth, for we speak life and strength yes. and life more abundantly and Hallelujah. victorious. Yes. Oh, shandere matoma sirimotoma, shandere Glory to your name, Lord. Oh, kola masiki shandere matondere matondere. Hallelujah. so good I just felt just you know how you ever feel when you feel just relaxed and yes and everything and it and it just my hands I, I just could I went like that I could just feel him just feeling you know have you ever had that experience wow. or not like he was going in and out of my hands Hallelujah. all around my hands last night and that 250 <laughs> I got a call Said you won $202,000. And the guy was supposed to deliver the, the satisfying check to me. 
And he said, he, he said probably, he probably might be. So that's why I got that 250. Hmm. Uh, I wasn't going to say anything about it, but since you mentioned it. Jesus. Thank you for your goodness, God. Thank you, God. And I think God's going to use his, his finance to help Israel. Yes. Lift up Israel and send, yes. send money to them for their to help them with the food and yeah. and winter clothes for yes. those people. Yes. Yes. I get a lot from them. And and I, I always say, Oh God, I wish I had the money to send your people. Yes. I said, Bless Israel. Help those people. Yes, Lord. I think God's going to about to use me for that. Hallelujah. 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 Praise the Lord. And I just pray, God, this, 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 what you have for this finance, that you give me the wisdom to use it. Don't spend it recklessly or, yes. or anything, but use it for him. Yes, God. Amen. Hallelujah. I mean, do it right. Yes. No Bless phony you. baloney. Bless you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. So he goes to Hallelujah. It. So I'm just hoping that, it, and I prayed, I, maybe I shouldn't have prayed, I said, I hope it ain't no fraud or anything, you know. Hallelujah. There's nothing else that was confirmation that we've heard from other people of the Christ. So there's confirmation that the Lord is is speaking and working and, and, and doing Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know, that's been on my heart lately, too, is to support the works going on in Israel to support his people. Amen. We're, uh, <clears throat> yeah. I think we need to, after service, decide something and send somebody something because. He's going to bless us when we bless his people. Amen. Mm -hmm. he, but he told us to bless Israel and to pray for their peace. Amen. And, and I just believe God will bless us as we do that. Um, I'm a, a, a big proponent of blessing his missions and his missionaries and his works and blessing his people. And I want to, I want to do that. Amen. So, um, so speaking of which, if you'd like to give or send in, uh, well, your tithe and offering, but also a missions offering, do that so we can send it, amen, to, to those promoting the gospel and to help also the people of Israel, amen. Yeah, because they get uh, plane loads almost every day, yeah. come from Russia, yes. Jews from Russia. Mm -hmm. And they don't have anything. Mm. And also, uh, they uh, the people that went through in Germany when they went through, they saw the they Holy went Cross. the Holy Cross. Yeah, yeah, they went through that. And some of them are, are young people now. They were real babies and everything, but now yeah. they're old. Old, yeah. You all see some of them, and I got my heart went out to them. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And then I have a lot of the places they, they have called and asked, you know, for help. All of a sudden, they just start coming in on me, and I didn't have anything. I mean, I might send $5 or $2, you know, $3 or something like that. But Hallelujah. I mean, something that really, you know, yes. now they're, they're old crane, Jews over in old crane. Old crane. Yes. In fact, you know what? I just now thought of this earlier today. Yes, this morning. I wanted the church to write a $250 check to um, to support Israel. Uh-huh. Amen. That, that was the number that I heard earlier this morning, and I just now thought of it. I mean, just now. Not when you said it, not when he said it, but just now. It was brought back to my remembrance. So, 
um, the church needs to write out a check for two hundred fifty dollars, and we'll. Um, uh, I got to get the name someplace that we're going to send it to. Them. So we'll we'll get that figured out, but we're going to do that. But uh, yeah, continue to send you know your offering. I, I appreciate the folks that are supporting this ministry and um, uh, sending in their tithe and offering and missions. Amen. I, I believe in missions. I believe that we need to get the gospel out. And um, where we can't go and others can, we need to support. That's them. right. We Amen. need to support. Amen. We need to support the gospel going out. Amen. Praise God. So uh, continue to do that. And the church is going to write out a check now to, to help. And it may not seem like much to some people, but $250 is, is oh, uh, that's, it's it's a little bit of money for that. us right now. Amen. Amen. But uh, and the I'm, act of obedience. Yes. I'm believing God, though, that uh, pretty soon we're going to be able to uh, increase that. Yes. And, um, yes. You know, but we're doing what we can right now. And that's what God expects each of us to do. Just do what we can. Amen. And he'll bless our efforts. Hallelujah. A little bit ago, I seen, <laughs> um, I wanted to say loops. I don't know why, but that... Um, like a carpet that's knitted or um, um, it's that real thin carpet but you know it's got those little loops just loop loop but they're really tightly knitted together and I'm not sure exactly what that was but I'm sensing that it's the people of God coming together and being looped and knitted together so tightly that nothing can take us apart Unless the unless the glue or the band is is taken, you know how when you pull um, on some of those carpets, if you pull it, then a whole big long string comes out, and it's just this real ugly. Uh, you know, there's yeah. there's no fixing that. <laughs> but I kept sensing this, and you know, the Lord showed me a long time ago. Was, I was attending church elsewhere and playing music and stuff, and. Uh, he showed me one time sitting on the stage playing music and, and um, being stretched like a film, that, like a TV, like a um, movie, uh, being stretched and how things get all distorted and like if you had a piece of gum and you were <laughs> silly putty and you pull it. Yeah. And it's stretching, and then you get those little strings in there because it's stretching and it's getting so tight it's about to break. And he, he shared with me one time many years ago that he is the glue that holds us together. He's the glue that bonds us and that holds things all in place. He's the one that, that set this earth on its axis and, and made it spin. However, I don't know, some people say it's spinning really fast. Some people say it spins really slow. I don't know, but uh, I know he's the one that takes care of it, and he holds it, and he holds all things in place, and he's bringing his people together, and he's looping them together, amen, and he's bonding them together, uh, tightly knit, uh, looping them, a loop, yes, a loop that he's bringing together his people, and it's going to be so tight, but it's going to be so smooth, amen. And I, I just seen this earlier, and I wanted to share that with you. Um, God's doing some mighty things, amen. And He's done, He's done some pretty cool things today already, just in our amen. midst, amen. amen. Well, all amen. morning long, I've been hearing Psalm one thirty three. Psalm one thirty three. So that's it. That's the brethren dwell together in unity. What is it? The, it's the one that dwelling together in unity. Can I read that? The anointing flows down Aaron's beard, and then that's where God commands oh. the blessing. Yes. Psalm 133, you say? Yes. Praise. Let's look at that. <laughs> Psalm 133. Behold how good and how pleasant, yes, it is for brethren to dwell together in unity. It is like the precious ointment upon the head that ran down upon the beard, even Aaron's beard that went down to the skirts of his garments, as the dew of Hermon, and as the dew that descended upon the mountains of Zion, for there the Lord commanded the blessing, even 
life forevermore. Amen. Hallelujah. That's good. Well, forevermore. since you mentioned that scripture, I'll sit here and <laughs> mention something else about yeah, the river that flows into yeah. the Dead Sea. Do tell him. The river that flows into the Dead Sea is the Jordan River, and the headwaters of the Jordan River are in Mount Hermon. Really? Wow. Wow. Isn't that something? The Jordan flows to the Dead Sea, and the head of the Jordan is, or the headwaters is in Her oh, Mount right. Mount Hermon. What? Yeah, where's that? Where he commanded the blessing? Yes. Where the anointing flows from head to toe. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Isn't that something? Just everything ties together. It all ties everything. together. And then I prayed over them life forevermore, and I didn't even yeah. realize it because I read it out of a different translation today. It says exactly like that. Praise the Lord. <coughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Huh. Amen. God is so good. Wow, Lord, you are good. Yes. yes. Spiritually. Spiritually. Oh, my God. Yeah. This is 
and to pronounce the things that he once said and declare things and to take authority over the works of the enemy. Not everybody does that. And there's been times that the Lord has even said, thank you. But he says, thank you. Yeah. To us. Yes, he does. Mm -hmm. he does. Because we're willing <laughs> yeah. to do what he asks us to do. And there's so many Christians, I'll just say Christians, that just want to go and do their duty of going to church for an hour or two a week. They never open their Bibles. They don't hardly ever pray unless they're in distress. Yeah. And then they want God's blessing. Praise. And God in his mercy still blesses them. But how much more thanks would he give to them or blessings would he give to them if they did what he'd ask them to do? Yes, amen. So I appreciate I appreciate this ministry and the folks uh, that are affiliated with our ministry and that that do the the things in the spirit. You know, the I want everybody to operate in their spiritual giftings and their yes, you know in their amen. callings. Yes, I want I I'm Hallelujah. not a pastor that has to That's do everything right. himself. No. I don't believe that. I don't believe in that. Amen. I want people to operate. Yes. Where the Lord wants them to operate. Amen. Yes. And I, that's that's how it should be. It's not a one man show, right. except the man, Christ Jesus. Amen. And this is his show. We are the ones that just do the, the workings that he tells us to do. Amen. Amen. Well, praise God. I think praise that the Lord has done what he wants to do today. So <laughs> We started off in a joyful spirit, and I'm still pretty happy. We're, we're probably going to be laughing a whole lot after a while anyway. But um, I think God got things accomplished today that, that he wanted done. Yes. Amen. And thank you for joining with us. And regardless of the time, day, or hour that you're watching this video, it's still part of where you're at and when you're at now. Amen. You just joined in with that service. Hallelujah. But if you've never made Jesus Christ the Lord of your life, just pray this prayer. Heavenly Father, I accept yes, you Jesus. and I want you to save me. I accept Jesus as my Savior. I pray that you forgive me of all my sin and wash me clean, Lord, with the blood Praise. of the Lamb. And I confess Jesus Christ is my Lord and my Savior. And I believe in my heart that... Uh, God, that you rose him from the dead, and I thank you for forgiving me and for saving me. In Jesus' name, amen. And then amen. if you haven't, uh, you've gotten the Holy Spirit. He was given to you when you were born again. But if you'd like to be baptized and say, you know, I'd like to be able to speak in tongues. I'd like to be able to do the things the Spirit wants me to do. Well, ask him to baptize you and just say, Lord, I'm born again, and I receive your Holy Spirit, and I ask you to baptize me with his fire that I may do the works that he wants me to do and say the things that he wants me to say. In Jesus' name, amen. And if you pray that and you start hearing these words or utterances start coming, then just let them out. Blurt them out. Amen. That's him wanting to speak through you. Amen. And he knows what the mind of the Spirit is. Amen. And he searches inside of us and lets us know what we need to pray about, and what we need to say. So, amen. Um, there will be information if you want to send your tithe offering and emissions offerings in. Uh, please do so. We need to be supporting the work of the ministry. Amen. I'm not talking about yes, just this amen. church. I'm talking about God's, about the gospel of the kingdom going out in the earth. And we do that. We support missions. So uh, send that in. Um, I think that's all. Until next time, uh, we'll see you then. But I want you to know, I'm Pastor Mike. I love you. God loves you. And Jesus is Lord. Amen. Amen. Amen.